Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I've got an update for the whole collection project pan. Um, this is a collab that we're doing with a good bunch of people. <laughs> I'll make sure to list them down below. Um, as you guys may have noticed or not have noticed, it's been a little while since I updated on this one because last time I just kind of got stuck with everything that I still had to film when I came back from the Netherlands that I just decided to skip this one because there wasn't any amazing progress to show you on any of these. So um, we're just gonna look at the amazing progress that I've been able to make in two months time. So I'm just gonna go in the order of uh, when everything rolled in, starting with a few eyeshadows that I uh, should have been working on. So I've been really focused on the Urban Decay, like the green one in here because I wanted to get another green out. Which meant that I haven't really touched this one because I would use it in a similar place. Um, the blue Sigma shade in here, I've literally touched zero times in the last two months. Which is not great. Like my goal is always kind of to use it at least five times every month. But I just really wanted to hit pan in the green. Um, yeah, so that. <laughs> There is not a lot to show you guys there and the other green that is in my sleek palette Which maybe should have been my focus first because I probably would have hit pen in this one earlier. This is uh, Also not used So at this point in time, I've used the blue shade 11 times and the green shade three times in total but but <laughs> The Urban Decay shade I was working on uh, Indo in here and I don't know how well you guys are able to see that. Maybe you can, maybe you can. There is pan. I uh, finally hit pan on that one after using it 61 times, which is a good amount of times but uh, it's there. I really like I. I didn't think it was going to come anymore and then all of a sudden it did show up so I'm really excited about that which is an other green that I have hit panel in my collection. Um, there still is plenty of green left actually because I have one uh, NYX palette that is, is pretty much green. Yeah, <laughs> I just hope that I won't be rolling anything like that in anytime soon but uh, for this project, I'm not going to be rolling in any new eyeshadows because my goal is going to be working on three at the same, at the same time, and uh, I've still got the blue, the green, and the pigment that I'm working on. So, no new eyeshadows in this in this project for now, but I am rolling one of them out, which I'm excited about. It was a nice shade, nothing wrong with that. But as you guys know, I've had a lot of green to work with this year, so it's nice to have another one be gone. And uh, now we can actually start focusing on the other one. So moving on to the next one. Like I said, the pigment is the other eyeshadow that I'm working on. And my goal for this one is to finish it up completely. Since last time... Oh, so for the Indo shade, I've used it another 30 times over the last two months to uh, get to actually hitting that pan. So about half of the progress still needed to be made. And the yellow pigment I've used another 17 times over the last two months, so that is the same amount of what I've used it before. That brings us to a total of 34, and I can really see some uh, progress on this one since then. And it's only going to get smaller, so I actually think I should be able to finish this one off uh, by next time, which I'm pretty excited about. So yeah, that is that one. Moving on to the lipstick that I've been working on. Um, once I finished up um, another lipstick that I was focused on, this one has kind of been my main focus for the last, uh, well, most of those two months actually, I think. And that does show. You can definitely see that I've been working on it. There still is a good bit to go. But uh, yeah, I'm excited about the fact that there is some really, really nice progress on this one. Um, and this is what we still got left. So I think we might be about halfway. Maybe a little bit over halfway, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm happy about that. I'm happy to be using that one because this time of the year is the perfect time to be working on that uh, shade. So that's really nice. Then the uh, Stay Smoky Shadow Pencil from Maybelline in uh, Smoky Black. I, uh, I'm actually using this one every day 
at the moment, like every day that I'm wearing makeup and at the moment, <laughs> I, I don't know, like I, what I'm doing with this one is kind of like I put a little bit on my finger and then I use my finger to kind of dab it on the outer part of my lid because I do not want this to like pull on my eye or like accidentally apply too much and I've noticed that putting a little bit on my finger and then spreading it out with my finger is the best way to create that little bit of darkness but not like have a complete black stripe that I cannot blend out properly so that's what I've been doing but like one little tip of my finger and this is just like a really pigmented black so as you might be able to imagine that just doesn't go very quickly so the two minutes of progress you can see in the close-up um, yeah <laughs> it's not really a lot of progress but then two minutes on progress on this one this is my elf mineral blush in joy uh, definitely looks a little bit different um, this has been the blush that I've been mainly working on over the last two months and there really is a good amount of progress well for a blush that is uh, showing on this one we've passed the like widest part we've passed the halfway point of the packaging not the product I don't think because it wasn't completely full um, but we're gonna get smaller towards the bottom so I think I should start to see like more progress when it comes to like that little stripe moving uh yeah still this is a really lovely um blush it's it's just so like perfectly like i've got a little bit of a flush going on in my cheeks type of blush it's not too pigmented it's not that it doesn't show up it's just like i dab in it once and i put it on and it's just yeah i really really like this blush so I'm happy to be using it and uh, it's just really easy to work with and we're making progress so I'm excited about that still gonna take me some time to finish it off but I might be able to do that by the end of this year let's see the other blush that is definitely on a different type of spectrum <laughs> than that one is the crochet blush in my uh, sleek blush by tree palette yeah I think I've used this one about 10 times or so, but with this one, as opposed to the other one, it's really the, the smallest little tip possible. And then sometimes it's, it's already too much and I do need to go over it with powder to tone it down a little bit. So that one is going to be moving very, very slowly, which is why I'm only trying to hit pan on it. But even that, I don't know if I can do that by the end of the year. We're, uh, we're going to find out. Um, yeah, that's all I can say about it. It is a lovely shade. It's just you need to really be very careful with it because it is so pigmented. And then we've still got two glosses left. So the NYX gloss right here is uh, kind of like my... I don't want to say my main focus. It's not my main focus. But I'm using it on a almost daily basis because I'm kind of pairing these together in the morning. So in the morning I put on my makeup. I put on this lipstick and I put this one on top to kind of tone it down a little bit. Um, it might make it a little bit more like of a summery, softer pink at times, which I like. So that's what I've been doing. And this one is like pretty matte. So I kind of like making it a bit more glossy by putting something on top. So that works out well. I'm using this, like I said, on a pretty much daily basis, six out of seven days a week, most of the time. Um, it just doesn't really move very quickly because it's huge. E 15 mils, I've said that before, 0 0.53 fluid ounces, which is just a crazy amount for a lip gloss. So this is my like morning gloss and then I have my other gloss at my desk. Um, at my desk. I'm sitting somewhere in the kitchen, like working from home. You guys know what it is like. Um, so yeah. This one I put on most of the time, like once a day, and uh, that hasn't really given me any additional progress yet. I think I started doing that um, like somewhere over the past month when I finished up my uh, Narcissus lipstick. So that, that, that must have been about a month ago at this point. Then this lip gloss, I've definitely made a really good amount of progress on, so I'm excited about that. This is kind of my main focus just because I don't think I would wear this one on its own, but this one is a really easy one to just put on like right before I go into a Zoom meeting or something to just have something on my lips. So this is at the place where I sit throughout the day and uh, I just sometimes quickly like 
put it on um, and that works for making progress so this is a progress that I've made over the last two months of course it's not one month but it is gonna only gonna keep getting smaller so I'm kind of hoping that in the next two or three months I can have this one done don't know if that will be possible. I kind of still have to figure out how to get to that last little bit because the doe foot stops like a bit above there. Um, but we'll find out. I'm uh, making nice progress on this one and it's just a really nice like subtle color. Of course it's it's still pink but it's like, it's definitely not like a my lips but better because it's it's pigmented enough but um, yeah it's, it's very easy to wear and it basically goes with anything. So yeah that is the last product that I was working on, but now, because I did hit pan on that green shade, we're gonna be rolling in something new. So, just gonna open my pretty random app, and I'm putting in 1 to 25, you cannot see that from there probably, um, because I, like I said, I'm not gonna be rolling in another eyeshadow, I already have two glosses and my max is two for those i have two blushes already um this one black pencil is definitely enough when it comes to pencils for me at the moment so the only real thing that i can still roll in at this point in time is either a lipstick a powder or a like non-makeup item um that is only 25 products for me at the moment so we're gonna see what we're gonna get i'm kind of hoping for a non-makeup item because another lipstick or the powder another lipstick might be a bit much just because i'm already working on three lip, pro lip products in here but you never know maybe it's a nice neutral color which i think i already panned all my neutral colors but anyway let's see what we're gonna get number one and number one is my new powder so i'm just gonna quickly grab that so the powder that I bought recently is the L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Perfecting Powder. Um, and I bought that in the Netherlands because I really just needed a new powder. I thought they had Bourjois at the place that I was going to, but they didn't. So I just ended up buying something that looked okay. I didn't really do my research, which is a bit of a shame. I've started using this already and I don't know if you guys can see, but there is like little chunks in here and i have no idea whether that's supposed to be like that it's kind of all over it so it almost looks like it's like it's, it's meant to be like that or it's just a kind of weird one i don't know but anyway like this is a true match powder in is there a shade i think i pulled off the shade so i don't know what shade it is but it definitely is like one of the lighter shades because i'm uh very pale even though it's summertime i'm still very pale so i think for this one my goal is going to be to hit panel it especially because it's still pretty new and hopefully by the time i do i will have some other like movement possibilities and i can roll in like a new eyeshadow or a new lipstick or something like that without it getting too much for me um because i think it's probably going to take me two or three months maybe to uh hit pan on this i don't know i don't I've never used this specific powder, so maybe it's more, maybe it's less, we'll see. But yeah, that is what I'm gonna be working on, what I'm gonna be trying to hit pan on. And uh, that marks 10 products again. So that's it for today. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Bye-bye!